Hello, Robbie Susan Chandler here from RobbieSusanCardsAndCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Quincy, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, Florida. Today I'm going to share a card with you made with the bundle Seaside Wishes. And this is a lovely card we're going to be making. And on the, inside, on the front I have Celebrate, and on the inside I have Wishing You So Much Joy on this special day. And a sand dollar from the Seaside Wishes stamp set, which I'll show you that real quick. This is the stamp set, and this is actually the, sea, the sand dollar that I used. And this ink is the uh, New Basic Beige ink. Okay, so let's get started on this card, and let me show you all the pieces. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, our card base is pretty peacock, and it's 11 by 4 and a fourth, and I scored it at 5 and a half, and you just fold it in half. And somehow I didn't score this one, but when you don't score it, you don't get as crisp a fold as you would score it. But let's just do this. And normally I would use my bone folder, but right now I'm going to use my fingernails. There we go. All right, so there's our card base. Could have done a little bit better if I had scored it. And that's kind of a lesson to you. I think you'll find you get crisper folds if you do score it before you fold it. Okay, the next layer is the basic beige cardstock, and this piece is five and a fourth by four. I didn't put my label. Oh yeah, here are my labels. Okay, we're actually going to use two of these. This is a basic beige, and are one of our new colors. And these two pieces are four by five and a fourth. Now the second piece is the piece I used inside to stamp my cinnamon on. So we're not going to work with that one. The other piece we're going to emboss with our new embossing folder called Seaside Wishes Hybrid Embossing Folder. And the reason it said hybrid is because it does several things. Now the first thing it does is emboss. So you just put your piece in here, run it through, and look at this lovely embossing that you get. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those sand dollars. So I just adhere that piece to the front and then I cut a piece of this paper which is called Thoughtful Designs and I love it because it's, uh, it's kind of variegated which made it a little bit difficult in card class because on this card over here I'm going to work with is the lighter piece, the lighter strip, whereas on my card it's the darker strip. So as you see from this piece it's variegated and this is one of the darker or kind of in between. Look at this one as compared to that one. And this piece is four and a fourth by one and a half. So that's one thing about this pack of paper. Now let me show you real quick. The, and you only get one sheet of each color but there's some really pretty colors in here. See, here's a purpley color, a corally color. Let me just see what they're called. Okay, we've got Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Petunia Pop, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat are the colors that are supposed to coordinate with it. So I think those are really pretty. Okay, so that piece is a strip that I put on after I put that piece on. So here we have that. See that and see the different colors make it look entirely different. Okay, now the sand dollars. Let's talk about those. I have a piece of five and a half by four and a fourth basic white paper. Now we're going back to our embossing folder. And what comes with embossing folder are a set of dies. And this is one of them. And if you look at the side that says Stampin' Up, this fits right around the cutout. Let me move this. This fits right <clears throat> in there. See how it doesn't wiggle anymore? It fits right there. And then you lay this piece on top. Close it up and run it through. Now, you know, I wasn't going to run this through, but I think I will just to show you. Let me put my emboss machine over here. So always put your fold in first, and with these hybrid folders, all you need is your base 
and your number four specialty plate. And I've got my handle on the wrong side, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to run this through. And I like to run it with the cut side of the die up and run it back. And let's take a look. Let me move this over. Okay. What have we got here? Size everything all <laughs> out of order now. That's okay. That's the way we work around here. All right. Well, let's open it up. Oh, and look. You've got this piece that you might could do something with if you wanted to. But look at these sand dollars. Pop them out. This is the coolest folder. I think these are just gorgeous. All right, so here are our sand dollars. Aren't those beautiful? They look so realistic. I just can't get over what such a good job they did on making them so realistic. So let's just pop these down. In fact, I have some already cut out right here. And I started with the next to the largest at the top. And he goes right about here, over on the side. And then I put my largest one next. And I put these on dimensionals because I wanted them to kind of keep their uh, sand dollary curved look. And then this one, the smaller one, goes right down here on the bottom. All right. Now I stamped uh, the word celebrate, which came from Unbounded Love. And I cut it with, uh, it's in Pretty Peacock. My inside was stamped with Pretty Peacock too. But it's this Celebrate from Unbounded Love. And I use this die from the Unbounded Love dies. It's that one right there. And so let's just pop that on down here. And then we'll talk about these other pieces because not only is that big die in this set, there's also some really cool other dies. Okay, so there's that. Now, I need to talk about these pieces. These are the other dies that come in the set. So here's the set. There's the three sand dollars we cut out. But we also get these two pretty pieces. These right here. And some starfish, which I use the smaller one. And some grasses, like that. So here are what those dies look like. Here are the these are the two for these. Now I cut this one, this top one, I mean the uh, peachy color one, out of this paper, that one right there, which is called, let's do this with one hand, this is called three color glimmer paper. And look, it has purple in it that's coming out everywhere. So that's what this piece was cut with. And then my other piece, this goldy piece, was cut with this paper called textured metallic specialty paper and I used the gold I used this coppery piece for this and then my little sand dollar here I cut out of the gold piece so I tried to make good use of this paper and again it's called the textured metallic paper okay all right so now we have I think most of our pieces here so let's start sticking some in. All right, let's start with our big, let's move these out of the way, our big gold piece right here. And I just put a little, just kind of put a little uh, glue on the back because it's not going to show, and stuck it down under here. I wanted it peeking out through there. And then this one I did the same way, just put a little glue here and there and stuck it down right there and then I have my little grass pieces so let's put our little starfish down and I just put a little glue on him and just stuck him right down here around that celebrate now my grass is here this um this one I just kind of stuck in here gotta have a little grass down under in the water and this one actually cut in half because it was kind of long and it's like well 
why waste all that the end of that when we don't really need it so I'm just going to stick them under here there's one and we'll stick the other one right under there like that okay well, there's our card isn't that cool now there's been a little discussion and I may have done my original upside down but there's a little discussion about what's the right side and what's the wrong side of the sand dollar this one I did with the rim and I'll show you on this piece I did with the rim up and these little parts right here poked up flip it over and this one I did this way and now I'm starting to lean towards the fact that this is probably the correct way but I have a feeling when I give this card to somebody they won't know the difference what do you think so there's our card I think it's a beautiful card like I said I used um, basic beige and pretty peacock to stamp my inside with so please like my video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and I'd love to be your demonstrator if you don't have one and I hope you'll give this card a try I think it's a really pretty card really easy to make and this embossing folder is so much fun to use so until next time happy crafting